I'm here with Jake from Rios uh, Sunglasses and they've created a floating sunglass not like anything else you've ever seen before. I'll let him explain exactly how this gets done and why these are so special. Awesome, so thank you. Here. Yeah, so we've got 34 different color combinations and styles. Every single one of them is polarized and floats and it's all because of this frame material. It's a special type of polycarbonate. Molecules are a little bit farther apart so there's actually air inside the frame so the whole sunglass will float. Um, the secret sauce also comes in the lens which is so light that the, the frame material can let it continue to float. So we've got polarized UV 400, hydrophobic and oleophobic coatings, and of course some of our favorite mirror colors like emeralds and blues and uh, you know, some of our rose colors as well. For low light, we also have amber and dark copper, um, and a frame style really for any kind of taste and yeah. preference, man or woman. They look really great, and the and the these are so light, guys. You got to try these out. But these feel like all day wear is not a problem. Not like other glasses that pinch you at the back of your head, give you a headache by two. <laughs> these these are these are all day. Definitely, yeah, definitely. A lot of care and attention went into exactly that kind of the form and feel, uh, both all the way from the back and into the styles that people like to wear and that lightness you know obviously fishing diving paddling surfing is kind of our core but we've heard from runners even where it's like man they love them just because they're so light they can take them through marathons right so you guys got to check these out after the show where can where can people buy them uh, right. reosgear.com r-h-e-o-s gear.com and reos is the greek word for river current always changing always flowing so Perfect. that's the spot all right <laughs> thanks jake appreciate Absolutely. it sardine or herring. It's actually a 3D scan of a herring. Um, and we call it the back lip. So the 3D back lip, as you can see, has a folding back lip that enables you to cast extremely far. Uh, what I wanted to create was a search bait that you can cast uh, over uh, reefs and structure. And when you retrieve fast, it actually comes up to the surface. All the crankbaits and twitch baits, when you put speed on, they tend to die. So I wanted to create just the opposite. Um, and what is a is a good search bait is something that flashes and will attract the fish from afar. Yes. Um, but still have the realistic details so that the, when the fish come up to it, they just hammer it. So you check this out. So cast a mile, but as soon as you start to retrieve, that thing just comes up uh, and rocks and wobbles like that. The more speed you put on, the higher you put on. So you can actually use that as a weight bait all the way in. If you got a a pothole or a hole in the weeds, you just drop it right in the weeds and it will go down. So you can see how it shimmers down like that. And as soon as you start to retrieve, it's actually come, gonna come straight up just like that and you're out of the pothole. So, 3D 
3D backlit from Savage Gear. It's available now for pre-order on many of the bigger uh, online stores. Awesome. It's two sizes, um, a, six, a six inch and a four and a half inch. And what's the weight on both of these? Ooh, I think this one is just shy, this is just shy of a uh, three quarter of an ounce. And this one is, is about an ounce and a half. And they cast a mile. Okay, so this covers not only bass, uh, large mouth, small mouth. Spots. We'll eat this little four inch bait. The big one here, you can take this in fresh and salt water. The finishes are real hearty and you're going to kill it. Simon Tell, he's going to give us the lowdown on the new Spro mouse. Hey guys, Bill Simatel from Spro 2017 ICAST Florida here with Man vs. Fish. These guys are awesome, man. You got to make sure you check out their website. This year is incredible. About a couple years ago, 2014, we had Best to Show with the BBZ1 Rat 50. We came out with the 50, 40, 30. Yes. This year we have the Rat 2.5, and what this is, it's a two and a half inch body, four and three quarter inch overall length supports Spro size 2 uh, power split rings that are 32 pound test breaking strength and out of the box when you guys get this it's going to come with two Gamagatsu short shank size 6. The cool thing about this thing this is subsurface this is not a wake bait guy this is a broken back subsurface square bill crankbait that goes down about two, two and a half foot on the pause it will slowly rise if you change the back hook out with a size 6 round bend short shank not the EWG, it will suspend and placing two sixes on there, it will slow sink. So just changing a hook out will actually adjust this in the water column. Square bill, throw it on a, I'm throwing on a dial with 701, 20 pound braid, Gamagatsu with the 10 pound top shot, far cast, crank it down nice and steady and when you get cover by cover and structure elements, yep. stop it, pause it and twitch it. So this is incredible. So you guys take a close look, this is the prototype. Over 200 fish were caught on this one alone for the testing. It still has the injected core body of solid foam, so it's it's durable. It's going to last a long time. And I've caught everything from bluegill to striper to bass to catfish to crappie. So this is just going to catch a ton of fish. So make sure you check out manversusfish.com for more information. Check out Robert and his kid. He's got a lot of information out there. Make sure you come back. They're going to keep an update. I think they might get one sooner or later to do some testing for themselves this time. That's so right. I appreciate it, and I hope you guys have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time out on the water. from Daiwa. This is the new Tatula SBTW. Kurt's going to explain exactly why this spool works the way it does. Okay, so we have the Tatula SP. It's got the aluminum frame, 90 millimeter handle, 13.2 uh, pounds of drag, but the amazing thing is, is the SV spool. Now this is a shallower spool, and you need to actually have, it still holds 14 pounds, you get 100 yards, still plenty of line. But you have to have this shallow spool to take some of the weight off to slow the rotation down, which is going to give you the backlashes. So I want to explain how this works because many people don't understand or don't believe we did anything different. So to take out the sight, what I have to do is get a coin and screw that. This comes down, this comes out. So when I take the spool out, you can see this is our mag force system. It's a set of magnets and there's a ball bearing in there and this is, we call this an induct rotor. It's magnetized. So when this goes in this slot, it doesn't touch the spool at all. Like some 
uh, anti-backlash systems actually touch the spool, that's how they're slowing it down. Ours is just done with the magnets getting close to the spool, which slows it down. So that's our basic MagForce. Uh, years ago, we came up with a system called MagForce Z, which now this is spring-loaded. So when you go to cast, there's a spring, it comes out and pops back in. So when, when you go to cast, the most centrifugal force is in the beginning, it comes out, slows the spool down. When you don't need it, it goes back in and you can continue a long cast. So the difference between that and the SV spool is a shallower spool. Now we call it an air brake. When, when I hold this and I turn the spool, it comes out. As you can see, it's coming out. And that little bit helps get that out there faster, slows the spool down from the beginning, and you don't have any backlashes. And you can adjust the mag force system with these dials. And you can cast this thing, not even touch it, hit, let it hit the water, and you have no backlash. So that's the secret to our additional air brake that we add when you turn the spool, it comes out, and that's how it works. Robert? Right. Now the main thing that y'all need to take away from this, with all that explanation, is you can literally take this reel. You can throw without thumbing the spool. And even when that lure hits the water, you're not going to get it back. We've done it many times. We didn't believe it ourselves, but we've done it. And it works. ICAST 2017 and as you know very well last year 2016 we won best in show for our, our, our drop shot live bait hook. Well we've got a couple other uh, twists that came into uh, play. Greg Gutierrez who's a pro staff member of ours and who's also a former Bassmaster Elite Series has designed a new jig called the Wack Attack with our, with our uh, award winning drop shot hook and basically all it is is a jig that has a weight connected right to it. It's not, it's not anything like your J-Rig that you found anywhere else, but now it's actually an articulated jig that can walk, that goes back and forth, side to side, without falling over. We've now taken that same innovation, and we've gone to our Trapper treble hook. So we've got three times the innovation, and three times the landing fish power, three times the locking power. Here at Trapper Tackle, we're up for another, uh, basically, Best in Show Award, and we're hoping that you guys like it as much as we have. Hunter Shalander won at the FLW event this past year, and he's got 90 thousand reasons why he likes this. <laughs> so take a look at us at uh, TrapperTackle.com and our Facebook and Instagram. Follow us around and hopefully we've got more great news and more great products. Okay guys, so day two of iCast is officially in the books. We are done. We've got some things to show you, just some, some samples that companies gave us that are really cool and then we'll kind of give you what we're most excited about from, from day one, I guess. So yesterday was... Um, the first day of the show, but it included on the water in the new product showcase. Today was the first day of the official exhibit. So it's day two, but officially first day of the exhibit. So let's just jump right in. What do we got? Well, to start off, a new uh, soft bait company called Z Baits. Now the intriguing part about this is not only color selection, but for finesse fishing, these things are narrow have a narrow profile, won't scare off any fish, and the way the bait itself is designed, it works with their um, their scent. So the way you're using their scent, as opposed to just putting it all over your bait, is to put a few drops in a bag to kind of recharge their baits, and that will absorb the scent. Uh, our understanding is it's got a caffeine, shad, garlic kind of scent, the same oils that are in the in this product are in their soft plastics. So it just reabsorbs the oils and recharges the scent for you. Very important on the bottle, it says not for human consumption, if, as if you needed any reminder, but this stuff is called bass syrup, that which, which sounds horribly foul. Yeah. yeah. What else we got? Well, we got a new sunglass company. Now these were really jacked about, frankly. Um, I believe it's called Rios. Mm -hmm. They're making a floating sunglass. And the way they do it is without putting 
goofy looking air bubbles in the frame. The frame material is so light, as is the lens material, that they float without anything else. Don't they feel lanyard. They feel great on the head. You could run in them. I, I, I like to run. You can run in them. They're not going to weigh you down. They don't pinch at the back of your head and give you that um, nasty headache at 2 p.m., which all glasses seem to do. So um, we're actually going to do something more in depth with those guys uh, a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. But just remember the name, R-E-R-H-E-O-S, Rios. Not sunglasses. only that, these things are optically fantastic. There's no distortion whatsoever. And we have two different types of lenses here. That's really important. Okay. What else? So next we have Savage Gear, and they gave us a couple of samples. We've got um, the back lip herring, um, which you saw um, being demonstrated by Mads. And then we also have the Fruck, um, which is uh, a, a duck frog combination uh, kind of bait. Really interesting, but they were, they were wearing some pretty interesting uh, shirts that said WTF, what what the fruck. That's right. Yeah, it was kind of cool. So, always detailed and amazing stuff from Savage Gear, so look for those in an upcoming video actually on the water. Next, Thonar Balls. Um, the, the name is a funny name for a pretty cool product. Um, th as you rattle these, they sound they sound a lot like sand uh, going through, so you can add these to um, like a Texas rig or a Carolina rig. You can put them on your line. You can do a lot of different things with these and get a lot of uh, really cool sonics from those. Oh, this is Trapper. From Trapper Tackle. So Trapper Tackle gave us these guys. This is a, uh, their wacky rig. Come on, focus. This is their wacky jig rig. So this is Trapper Tackle's Wacky Jig Rig, which they call Wack-A-Sack. Um, uh, another funny name for a, a really cool bait. It uses the Trapper Tackle. The, the design that they have for the hook helps you hang on to more fish. And then they have a weight. And with this one, what you do is you're actually tying into the weight. Um, so just a little teaser on this one. We're going to do something in depth with this as well. because This is really cool um, stuff and a pretty innovative design. Um, and then this is Dixie Jet Flutter Spoon. Uh, take us through this thing, Pops. Well, a lot of guys have, have uh, forgotten about the fact that spoons are a very effective way to target bass. There's flutter spoons, there's jigging spoons, there's casting spoons. Dixie Jet is unique in that it's designed as a casting spoon, but the movement never stops. Let it drop. You want to jig it horizontally? Go ahead. You want to cast it? You got some great built-in action and for that matter if you want to yo-yo it whatever the retrieve this spoon is designed to move constantly so you can use it however you want it very cool very cool spoon this is the last thing we're going to show you today and this is what um i came across this and i think i'm most excited about it's called bait cloud Let me show you this stuff here so it's kind of this effervescent ball uh, that you throw into the water and it's got a it's got a patented combination of minerals and um, uh, amino acids and different things so it also kicks up a big fuss because it's effervescent so a bunch of bubbles start flying out and then you've got um, this scent uh, that gets released it just attracts fish to it and now you're just casting over you actually know where fish are and um, the guys that developed this said um, it's really helpful for fishing from shore, um, so you're not really sure the fish are there. You can cast this out, leave it out there for a few minutes, and now you know you're actually casting to some fish. So you have a chance to to, um, to present your bait to something other than just empty water. So this is really cool. This is what I'm most excited about, I think, from day one. Yeah, not only that, if you're looking to create a school, this is how you create yeah. a school of fish. Yep. Just give it enough time to work. It's going to sit in the water. It's going to do its thing. It's going to attract the fish for you. And then you know where you threw it, cast in that area because it'll disperse through the water. And it actually has a hole in it so you can you can thread a line through it and cast it out there. And you'll know exactly where it is at that point because you're, you're controlling it. You can pull it closer, take it further, whatever you want to do. Um, but this is, my, uh, this is my pick from uh, day two or the first day of the exhibition itself. I'm really stoked about this. I can't wait to get this out 
and, um, and see what it is. So tomorrow the fun continues. Um, right now it's definitely time for some food and um, probably some editing. So anyway, uh, thank you very much. We will see you tomorrow.